All right, and that means you all can hear me. Theoretically. Uh, so this is the pre-show. This is the pre-show. If discerning that down, it does. I'll turn the music down. I don't want to skip anything. Right. We're here at the beginning. So yeah. Welcome to the pre-show. Something that only happens uh, because... The pre-show only happens uh, as a consequence of the fact that, uh, again, that I am... As a consequence of the fact that this is my locally recorded copy. If you're on the archive, you also need a locally recorded copy. A reminder that if you want to listen to the version that uh, YouTube records, uh, then you can go to the unlisted link. Uh, because I just don't want them crowding out my channel on Flightship. So that's why I don't have them uh, public, but they're unlisted because there's no reason to not let people see it. Uh, and the upside of that is you get to see the chat. Uh, because I don't record the chat locally on my end. Uh, you get to see the chat uh, by doing that, by going into the thing. So yeah, big advantage. some advertising here. If anyone else is, a lot, is like a week at this point, because we're also starting real, we're starting real late tonight. So like, a lot of I don't know if anyone else is awake at 11. Oh, the, the bit rate is lower than expected. So let's open the widget. Is that an OBS thing? Is it complaining about something in the OBS thing that I can like look at? Well, I don't know. I reconfigured all my OBS settings so that I could record multiple. Oh, uh, connection's good now. Uh, I don't know. I re-recorded all of. I reconfigured all my OBS settings so that I could. Uh, for the for the for the idea was that I could then. Well, I'll, I'll finish the sentence once then. One day the sentence will be finished. Um, I reconfigured. Oh, the funny. Oh, I hope that's just like a Wi Fi thing and not like my OBS things. Because, like, that'd be bad. I, I don't know how to fix it. I know nothing about OBS. Uh, so how is it connected? But, like, I reconfigured my OBS settings. And I look, I'm looking at the settings, I can't find anything about bitrate. Even on the stream tab, on the output tab, on the general tab, I don't see where the bitrate's going in. I can't tell again if that's a connection thing, 
or if I've messed with one of the settings because I, 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 I edited the settings so that you so, so we could have multiple streams of audio recorded uh, but that should only affect the recording right I don't think the encoders changed I guess maybe it's like I mean output set maybe this in the output settings you know what I'll look into that how to increase OBS spirit I guess I could do that now Stream bitrate. Who's on the bot? Select the output tab. Tab. Like so, when I go to the output tab. Recording doesn't matter. I don't know what CBF. I'm using like the X26 to 264 encoder. Is that something? Because the NVIDIA one doesn't work. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, gosh dang it. Well, YouTube wants me to get more bitrate. I don't know how to do that. It's 11. So I guess we have to go live now. We're in the process of going live. Who knows when in the sentence I'll be live. No one, not even me knows. I don't know anything. What even is knowledge when you think about it? Uh, it's really, it's really interesting, isn't it? Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the part of the stream where I vamp and try and cover up the fact that I'm self-promoting because I have to send out messages at like the exact time that I go live. That's what's going on right now. Uh, that's what's happening. Uh, more vamping, more vamping. That's what I'm doing. I'm vamping. Let's give me a V. Give me an ampin. That's right. I'm vamping. Vamp, 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 vamp. Vamping, <laughs> please. Gosh dang it. Just give me... Well, you're gonna wait a few seconds, right? I'm sure you can. I believe in you. I believe in each and every one of you. To wait a few more minutes. Uh... Calix Wolf says that we're live. So it's Turkey. When I first heard this, the title, I thought it was I want to pursue the main side character, uh, and not I want to pursue the mean side character. I mean, it'd be weird if it was the main side. How do you? What? What would that mean? That style looks cute. It does. This. Uh, so if you guys don't know why we're playing this, uh, we're playing uh, this vi this video game because I want to, <laughs> uh, but also. Uh, this is the first, uh, this is the first of the video games, uh, by Avoka Soon Angelic, 
uh, which would become Sundere Studios, uh, which is currently making I Just Want to Be Single, uh, which is a game I'd, I'd like to play, but unfortunately it doesn't exist yet because it, it hasn't it, it hasn't been made yet. So we're going to play the old games. Uh, we're going to play through Sundere Studios' backlog uh, first, and that's what we're doing now. So this is I want to pursue the main side main side character. Uh, it's the itch.io .io page says it's like half an hour, uh, which was good. We have this about. It's version three, created by Soon and Delik, on Welcome to UI by M. Uh, other credits. Help. Ooh, we have we have controls. Enter advanced dialogue and it, it activates the interface. Advanced dialogue without selecting choices. All right, so space advanced dialogue without selecting choices. Arrow cases navigate the the interface. Escape accesses the game menu. Whoops, nope, not here. It doesn't. Uh, control skips dialogue when held down. Tab toggles dialogue skipping. Page up rolls back to earlier dialogue. Page down roll is to layer dialogue. I don't think that's the yeah, that's not the arrow keys. I don't know how to do page up and page down. Oh wait, I see them. I see the keys. Okay, smallest go turkey. I what have I told you about sending me Twitter messages in the middle of streams? I'm pretty sure I said I don't look at Twitter messages on stream. I guess the main side carries like fairly from Ferb is not the ma Ferb and Mabel are not side characters. They're deuteragonist. Those are main characters. They're not side character. What the I can't believe this. <laughs> Ferb and Mabel are not side characters. They're like they're like they're the deuter well well Phineas and Ferb is kind of arguable. It's kind of weird uh how the structure of that is. I'm not sure if we have a deuteragonist rather than like, because Phineas and Ferb, it's always whether or not they're ma their main protagonists because it's all split up. Uh, but for Gravity Falls, Mabel was definitely like the deuteragonist. No, they're not side character. Okay, there's the main characters and then the side characters and then the recurring cast. And like the it's called the main characters. <sighs> Can't believe this. Anyway, I already I've already said in past streams I don't read messages on stream. Any messages that need want to be read have to be sent in the chat. It's uh it's in the rule or something. I'm gonna have to add that to like can I add that to like the channel page? This isn't Twitch, so I, there's not a rules tab. <laughs> Specifically add that. Anyway, we've returned. Look at bounces. Everyone loves bouncing logos. I don't know how long it takes for the thing to catch up. Anyway, let's start this game. I have not played this game. This is a blind run of I want to pursue the main side character. I'm just stalling at this point. <laughs> So I guess we we better start. Oh no! I lost my handkerchief. That's terrible. Wasn't that your favorite silk one? Uh, currently, smartest turkey says it is just me. Uh, is just uh, him saying, "Do the Mario." No, we don't dance on stream. You can't even see me. You can't do the Mario. Also, it's a very imprecise dance. <laughs> like, they, they sing it like they're gonna say, like they're gonna do, tell you all the dance moves. But the only dance move they tell you in Do the Mario is to swing your arms from side to side. That's the only dance move explicitly stated in the lyrics of Do the Mario. Anyway, that's terrible. Wasn't it? Your, wasn't that your favorite Soak one? Yes. And it was. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, page. page Page up. Oh, that worked. Yes, it was so expensive. I might have to wait and wait a while to get a new one. Excuse me. This is 
This is the mean side character, by the way. I read the itch.io page. I know something. This is the mean side character. We're going to be pursuing them. Excuse me. Eep. Miss Claremont. Does this handkerchief belong to you? No! I heard you explicitly say. You can keep it. Please, have it. I don't want it anymore. Don't forget to take one step and <laughs> then do it again. <laughs> do the Luigi. Go cry into a cor corner. The rest is just sobbing. Hey, are you making fun of Luigi? We don't do that in this on this streaming household. Luigi is a... Tr is a Luigi deserves respect. He has a good life that he enjoys with people he loves. He's not crying himself to sleep. You could keep it, please, have it. I don't want it anymore. But look, this handkerchief is yours, so just take it. Eek! Oh no! We upset her! Please don't pull us. We're sorry. We'll never bother you again. I think Luigi is the better of the two. Uh, well, the thing the thing about the Mario Brothers is that they support each other, uh, and therefore uh, they don't concern themselves with which is the better of the two brothers. Please, we're, we're sorry. We'll never bother you again. Let's go. I watched the two fleeing figures. I can't believe we ran into Miss Claremont. She's as mean looking as they say. At least we didn't do anything like talk to His Highness. I don't know who, who, who His Highness is. I heard she saw. I heard she saw one girl who had accidentally touched His Highness's right shoulder, and she had to quit school because her family was forced to move out to the country. How cruel! I mean... Of course. What else should I expect? Well, let's do a quick save. Also, for preferences, I think I'm gonna make it so that text speed isn't, like, at the exact absolute fastest it could be, which is something I set earlier. But it's kind of awkward now that I watch it in action. I don't know, does it look that mean to me? I don't know, I'm not an anime person, I don't know what all the tropes are. Maybe this is a really mean in anime standard. Of course, what else should I expect? I mean, I didn't really expect a thank you or anything, but I also didn't enjoy how they reacted when I tried to hand back her item. But what else could I do? What if Sans had no. No, I'm shutting this down before it starts, no. But what else could I do? Ever since I can remember, people seem to think whenever I approach them that I plan to harm them or something. I wasn't sure if it was because I was taller than the average woman, or because my eyes looked mean and sharp. I don't know, this, I think this is also like an anime thing with like the sharp eyes. Because I don't think I've ever heard eyes described as mean and sharp before. Maybe I'm not reading enough, but like... I mean, maybe. I, it's just not, like, the first thing I... I don't know. This might be another anime thing. Or because my hairstyle, which I have tried to say, was reminiscent of an antagonist from a novel. See, that's definitely a reference to something. I don't know what curly hair is to do thing with things either. Holding up this... <laughs> Spongebob Square Turkey, I can find the 10-hour version of Do the Mario. You don't, I must stress, you do not need to send that to me. <laughs> Even my own name, Beatrix, seemed to add on the image of me being a spiteful person. I don't, just, just looking at the general design of Beatrix, I mean, to me, she always looks somewhat awkward. Like, possibly because in all of, like, her frames, her eyes are, like, downward cast. She just never looks comfortable. Not particularly mean. I don't know what my parents were thinking when they named me that. Oh, great. Turkey Santa. 
Not like I could ask them, though, as I wasn't particularly close with them either, which made me a very lonely child. Thus, I did my best to try and make friends with other children. Yet, any time I tried to approach another child, they ended up crying or wetting their pants from seeing my sharp eyes. Don't have... The moment of the story, don't have sharp eyes. This is what happens when you're streaming 11. It's not... You... Don't victim, don't victim blame me for this. <laughs> the photos kind of resemble Susie from Deltarune, large, tall, long, wild head. Maybe it's a trope. It's probably a trope. I guess, I don't consider the curl as wild. But yes, I don't know. Uh, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's just because I'm always looking at her face and her face always looks like very uncomfortable with the situation. Thus, I was never able to make friends since I was a child, even though I truly tried, resulting in a somewhat awkward personality. See, that's what I pick up on, like, when I see her. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm looking at the face for, like, my emotional cues. Tired of it all. I had thought that I was going to be treated as a mean-spirited boy no matter what I did. Might as well just play the part. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, like... It's fine if you don't if you interact with people, but like, you don't have to go out of your way to be mean. Uh, the break, the Breaking Bad meme? Uh... No, I don't know what that meme. I quickly became known as Beatrix, the Jealous Fiancé. Fian- fi Fian- <laughs> The Jealous Fiancé. See, that is something that you could- adequately blame on me streaming at 11. The jealous fiancé of the prince who would tyrannize anyone who approached him. Though if I were truthful, I don't care much for my fiancé. And Edvard, <laughs> Edvard, my fiancé, never bothered to take any interest in me either. It was an arranged marriage. Uh, yeah, you can also, you can see like the text is like cut off when they have a second line queued up. It's a very early game. But I still put up the act that I was possessed about him, merely for appearance's sake. Additionally, I did nothing like force a girl and her family to move like those two girls did. That girl moved because her father's new business was located in the rural area of our empire. Alright, this is like, also like, a uh, typical, like, fantasy, like, isn't this like a typical fantasy visual novel setting? I saw it in, like, a few animes things that I've seen where like you're go they're going to like high school but it's also for some reason royalty replace anime fed with spice Tokyo and you got me what I mostly did to people was intimidate them little, or just stare at them with those sharp eyes of mine yeah people are not hard to intimidate in this in this in this game uh However, that was enough for the suit body, as they began to spread rumors of my cruelty. Thus, I never had to do much to make people afraid of me. And so, for a good amount of my schooling, I was the interest, Beatrix Clermont. Until... Beatrix! I think Lily... Is Lily us? I'm not sure. Uh, I couldn't tell. It kind of sounded like it when I was reading the Twitch page, but it could also be not true. I don't know. And right on cue. This is Lily Abbott. My only friend is as sad. My only friend is as sad as it is to say. I think that's a typo. I think it's supposed to be my only friend as sad as, as it is to say. Lily is basically the opposite of me. See what? Okay, looking at Beatrix. Yeah, she's not happy like Lily is, but she just looks tired. <laughs> like, uh.
and the, the appearances. Uh, you have now become speaking. Gosh dang it, guys. Uh, no, uh, if you wonder what happened, I had coiled the microphone cable around my leg and unplugged it accidentally. Don't ask how that happened. It just it did. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, as I was saying, here Beatrix just looks in like. I mean, she looks kind of grumpy about it. Uh, yeah, and I was saying I was saying she was grump embarrassed, which is a new portmanteau of the word grumpy and embarrassed. So no one missed anything, and it was probably a good thing that you couldn't hear me. <laughs> there I go again, unable to speak my feelings, instead of saying sorry or even a thank you. I just speak harsh words only. One of the results of from my one of the results from my lack of social communication. True, but I want to see you as soon as possible. Milo Murphy's law strikes back. Ellipses. There she goes saying such embarrassing words again. Why am I unable to speak about my feelings? Willie seemed to have no filter. That's, that's not like an, an, an exceptionally embarrassing thing to say of Willie. For just an undertale. You know, my mother always told me that if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. I mean, she did it actually. That's a lie. That's not a phrase mom was particularly fond of using, but it was one of those stock phrases that all the parents use. So she must have used it once or twice, probably. Besides, the lunch is just some weird European food again, so it's not like I'm that excited to eat it. That might also be a reference. I can't. Anytime I don't get a joke, I'm just gonna be like, it's a it's a reference, probably. Yeah, they never could have did more to do a sharp with eyes. I think it's an anime thing. Like, like I think like it's supposed to be like. I think, like, if I was an anime fan, I would immediately be like, oh man, those eyes sure are sharp. But, like, I'm not, so, like, it doesn't register. I don't know what we're gonna do today. I mean, doesn't this world have some normal food? Would love to have a burger again. Oh, yeah, I think Lily has been, like, uh, isekai is the word that you anime people with. I'm embarrassed. Luckily, no one in this chat reads it, watches anime, because I'm embarrassing myself on it. Gosh dang it. And face a firm are committing mass genocide, sure. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure it's, it's a common trope for one character. So, they have this specific fantasy setting, and then it's a common trope for, like, one character from our modern reality to be sent to like the fantasy world which is again inexplicably both a high school and in the middle ages I think these are all tropes probably maybe don't know I've watched like one of these I know I'm not telling you which one. What was that? Oh, nothing. I might eat something after the stream. I don't have a burger, but I have crackers. I'll eat crackers. Isn't that the plot of Owl House? Oh, you're talking about the isekai thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, the isekai thing. Yeah, there's been a few of them. There's, there's a whole thing. It's also technically, I guess, the plot of Amphibia. Uh, but the fantasy worlds aren't set up. Oh no, I guess Alha specifically has high school though. I forgot about that. Uh, see, now Western cartoons, <laughs> I can tell you all about that. Uh, so no, I guess, yeah, because there's like a few Western isekai things, but like, I guess Alha is the only one where they also decided to put a high school in it. I don't know why people keep putting high schools in things. And it's, it never, it never helps. By the way, what's with a handkerchief? SpongeBob? I don't think that's how Sponge. I don't think that. I don't think it's SpongeBob. I don't think SpongeBob is one. By the way, what's with a handkerchief? 
Oh yeah, I get default default feature just looks but I think I can see bags under her eyes. Or that might just be how the shading's done. Oh, this belonged to some student. I was trying to return it, but seeing her face, she probably guessed what happened. I don't know, she looks normal happy to me. Ellipses. Are we go cast a curse on them? Oh <laughs> Oh, I like Lilith now. So we put out Mad Dummy as a dating hacker group? Uh Does do they? Does Mad Dummy? Well, clearly This is Yeah, this is uh also a thing. Also, does do, does the is the stream okay? Uh the, the YouTube is complaining about bit rates. Uh so I can't tell if that's a real complaint or if it's stupid. And when looking at the Mad Dummy sprite, it doesn't really look like the Mad Dummy has a handkerchief. Or the tarot card also doesn't appear to have a handkerchief. I think that's just the gap between the Mad Dummy's head and the Mad Dummy's body. This was a very necessary detour. Hey, want me to go cast a curse on them? Lily! Oh, see, now that's just outright embarrassed. It's dialogue. Oh, there's dialogue about it. Don't even joke about that. Oh, you, that's distressed. You know the usage of dark magic is forbidden by the royal family. If you got you, if you're caught, you could face execution or worse. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I wasn't that serious anyway. Yeah, see, Lily, that's I think uh, so. Lily seems very irreverent to her situation here. In. Uh, Isekai Land. Why does magic even exist here then if we can't even use it if we want to? I mean, you can use magic, you just can't curse people. Fine line. But I do, want, I do wonder exactly how much Lily is taking this seriously. Anyway. Why not keep the handkerchief then? She didn't take it when she had the chance, so it's finders keepers them. Like, I like how like they are somewhat inverse. To, like, uh, like the mean side character is this awkward uh, person who like means no one any harm and tries her best, and Lily appears to be the one with the chaos inside of her. Uh, Galaxy Wolf says that even with the internet's shaky hotspot, the stream quality seems fine. I love you with the dainty handkerchief of vengeance. Oh, that's an interesting one. She didn't take it when she had a chance to prosecute it. It's like, so like, Vader's like, man, I wish I could have returned it. And Lily's just like, yeah, but it's yours now. Look on the bright side. I'd rather not. I think it's supposed to be I'd rather not. She said this was important to her. She might regret not taking it, so... Oi. You're so sweet, Beatrix. What? How will we go take it to the lost and found before we grab our lunch? The girl might grab it from there later. I, I suppose. Yes, that would be the right course of action. Let's go then! But wait, don't rush me! And so we both return to the handkerchief. To the lost and found. Decide how I may act. I am truly grateful for having Lily as a friend, as she seemed to make up for some of the deficiencies I have. She has lost him a moral compass. <laughs> she would get upset at me if I said that aloud, though. Lily would constantly tell me not to bring myself down, but will also shower me in praise and compliments, as you saw earlier. Well, I guess we're an entity that Beatrix knows about. <laughs> I do not know how she can always find a kind thing to say to me, say about me, as I never saw these traits in myself before. Yet still, rather than seeing me as detestable as the other students do, she is the only one. She is the only one doesn't see me that way. Rather, she seems to see me as lovable. I'm not sure how someone such as me was lucky enough to have a friend like her, but ever since we did become friends, she has stuck to my side and seemed to be the only person who could tolerate me. I'm harsh, mean-looking, and antisocial. Again, really not that mean-looking. This is probably your grumpiest expression. She's so small and cute, 
sweet, and overall sincere. But also, she's she seems to be significantly more okay with like stuff like. Like, she's overall sincere, but she's also, like, sincere about, like, cursing people. And I know she's joking, but, like, she, she has, like, less self-restraint. <laughs> Anyone would wonder how two drastically different people such as us became friends, correct? Well, it started out the around the beginning of the school year, when I was still putting on my little persona. You there, commoner! See? That looks a bit mean. Uh, that just looks somewhat like with a condescending, uh, that looks a little with like a condescending face. I could see that as being mean. It's still, it's still a bit soft though. Hmm? Me? Who else would I be talking to? Does anyone else here reek of the scent of labor? The other students laugh at this. Lily at the time was a new student to the academy. Furthermore, she's the only student to come from a lower class. She was accepted to the fact that she had been adopted by a baron recently and now attends the academy, which is filled with other wealthy and upper class students. Despite me being the only one confronting her, I was not the only student who found her presence irksome, so seeing me belittle the tiny girl was a treat for most of the student body. Yet who knew that what that little conversation led to? Wait, that hair, those eyes, that pose! Are you Beatrix Cormand? According to Reddit, which is the only photo you could find, it's called for repeatedly checking or sparing until the dummy gets bored and leaves. I forgot that it's a... Uh... Oh, well, you mean the ruins dummy. And then that causes a bad dummy to say that later. I um, Yes, I am. Oh my god! It's really you! This is... This is royalty free music. Can you all hear the music? There's music to this. I can hear the music. I guess... Can you all hear the music? Uh... Oops. Because, like, there's music. This is like a royalty free song. I, I recognize it. So tell me if you can hear the music. As well as me. You know of me? Uh, wait. D Page up. Oh, yeah, it's just you know of me. Of course I do. I point every route in Magical Academy Love Life in order to just even claps and catch glimpses of you. Well, I don't hear the music anymore, so I guess it's gone. But as far as I've never heard the music. I even have all your official merchandise. Well, I, I did, I mean. Until that stupid truck hit me. Magical Academy? Merchandise? Truck? But wow, you're even more beautiful in person! But beautiful? Yeah! Even more so than your sprite! Oh, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Willie Abbott. It's nice to meet you. Oh. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Wait! That's not why I approached you! The same song they use in every YouTube kids music video. Look, it's really easy to get the music, okay? It's also, it's free. Is this like an animal? Isn't this like an Animal Crossing? Is this an Animal Crossing song? Uh, Galaxy's gonna slam me if this isn't, if this isn't an Animal Crossing song. Uh... Hmm? Why did you approach me then? Hmm. <laughs> I saw you and the prince walking together the class. Tell me, as I am the fiance of the prince, what your relationship with him is. We don't have any relationship. He bumped into me, which made me drop my books. Then he made some big detail out of it and told me he would carry them for me to my next class, which I refused. Yet still, even though I kept telling him no thanks, he carried them anyway, making a bigger thing out of it than it was. Kevin McGloy royalty fee music is not Animal Crossing. Also, it seems like the royalty fee music, like, doesn't loop properly, so then we just get stuck with silence. This is an, this is, this is an old game. 
He carried them away, making a bigger thing out of it than it was. Honestly, it was kind of troublesome. The of that event scene always irked me, but more so in real life. What? As if someone as great as the prince would carry some commoner's filthy books to class. I'm not lying. And honestly, I wasn't happy about the whole thing either. Though I can't do anything about it now. So is there anything else I could do for you? Fine. Since you asked, I don't want you to ever come near the prince ever again. Done. Ellipses. Huh? Dunzo. Deal. I agree. I'm never going to approach the prince. Won't even look at him. Hey, I'll be happy if he does the same for me. I... You agreed pretty quickly? Of course I agreed. If it means you'll stop being upset with me, I will gladly avoid the prince. I... I see. Uh, wait. I, for, I skipped through that page up. No, it's just I see. Of course! I see, now she just looks cute in this one. It's good that you understand your situation, then. I'm happy to hear that you agreed so easily. And I'm happy that you're happy. Ellipses. Hmm? I think you look so much more lovely when you're happy, Miss Beatrix. Live action variant. No. I... You think I'm lovely? Your golden flaxen hair. Your silks, your sky blue eyes. The elegant way you hold yourself. How can I not think you are lovely? Rather than being approached by the prince, I am much happier being approached by you. I? Elegant? No, Beatrix, you're, ro you're, you're royalty. You're supposed to be elegant. So how about this? In exchange for never seeing the prince again, I get to see you more often. So if you could, may I please get to know you better? By starting off as friends. I'd be... I'd be eternally grateful if someone as beautiful as you. Okay, fine, just please shut up! Ellipses. So that's a yes. It's a yes. I'm so happy to hear that. My first friend. Hmm, say something? No, nothing. I said nothing. Your ill-bred ears are probably just too full of dirt to hear anything. <laughs> Either way, I look forward to getting to know you better. No, stop sending me live. Stop a sending me. Stop sending me to the Mar do the Mario's, or any of the live-action Mario. We don't need to remember that Mario was ever in live or in action. By the way, I look forward to getting to know you better. Well, likewise. So I'm only doing this so you don't have any time to spend with the prince. That's fine by me. Oh, again, this also assumes that uh, she herself is not going to spend any time with the prince. Because otherwise, that they all three would be spending time together. That's fine by me. How about we walk to our next class together? Ellipses. If you would like. Of course. Any chance to spend time with you would make me happy. Ellipses. And thus, that is how we became friends. I still cringe at the way I acted before. Honestly, it was pretty awful. I was mostly over the top, but... Okay, gotta stop responding to Spartans Go Turkey. Or this is just gonna keep happening. I'm like really easy to bait into doing things. I also have no filter. And I would love to say my behavior changed drastically after we became friends, but that would be a lie. Though, thanks to all these patience and effort on my part, we have gone to a point in our friendship where I know her call her commoner and also stopped hurling insults at her. Yet Willie has never stopped speaking of her admiration of my many features, which I suppose motivated me to try and change a bit so I could meet her expectations. And so I stopped my horribly over-the-top ways and tried to be the person she saw me as, by trying to help others and working harder to make fr more friends. There hasn't been much success, though. But at least Lily has always been there to comfort me when things never went my way. And so here we are now. The school lunch is delicious, isn't it, Beatrix? You were just complaining about the school lunch. Hmm. Yes. It is quite good, I suppose. Even the bread is soft and fluffy. 
Yes, I do agree. We should feed each other. I think so as well. Wait, why would I ever do such a thing? Especially in public. Boo. I tried. Really? Just then I see that Lily dig... Just then I see that Lily dig into her bag and take out a textbook. Isn't that textbook for our arcane class? Are you going to study? Ah. Yeah. They didn't really teach magic where I was from. But that's because magic didn't exist. So I need to study to catch up to the rest of you guys. But studying magic in this world is way different than the video game. All I have to do is mash the buttons. But here I have to actually, I actually have to do reading and stuff. I mean, a visual novel is basically reading. Video game. Uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Let me see. Oh, okay. As Lily hands me her textbook, I glance over the material she is studying. This material? We've gone over this weeks ago. She's still on this? At this rate, she might not catch up for the upcoming test. Let me help you study. Are you sure? I don't want you to waste your lunchtime helping me. It was my decision to help you, wasn't it? Are you questioning it? Ah, uh, no. Good. Then let's start reviewing together. Besides, we are friends. We should help each other out. Ellipses. I think five years were added to my life. What do you say? Hmm? Nothing whatsoever. Right. Well, let's go over these spells right here. You'll need for next week's test. Ellipses. I don't know who's saying this one. Another ellipses. Three ellipses. That's an ellipses of ellipses. Whoa. I can't believe I was able to catch up that fast. Only three ellipses. You're so smart, Beatrix. Uh, I'm not that smart. I merely studied, that's all. The benefits of having only one friend. Most of my free time was spent studying. And also the benefits of living in a world without video games. Which is well, which is not how most of my free time free time is spent. Because I also live in a world with the internet. Which is where my free time is actually spent. But I am glad that I was of some assistance to you. You were more than just some assistance. I really appreciate it, Beatrix. I'm so grateful to have you as a friend. You... Grateful? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I mean, she has to tolerate me. Your self-esteem is terrible. Can you get that looked into? Yeah, I mean, when I first came here, most of the other students ignored me since I wasn't of noble blood like them. Only you would reply to me whenever I talked with you. If I didn't have you, I would probably have no one else to sit down and eat lunch like this, or help me with studying. That's why, I'm so appreciative of the fact that we are friends. Ellipses. I want to cry. It's as if she read my heart and spoke it aloud. Yet it wasn't my heart that she was reading aloud, but hers. I never knew someone could feel such joy at finding out that the feelings they had been too scared to share were actually reciprocated. It is not fair that only she had the courage to be honest. I want that courage. I want to tell her how I truly feel. I. Hmm? Ellipses. I'm glad we're friends too. Ellipses. Ellipses? Ellipses? Holy crap, I can't audio recordings exist in this world yet. What? It's nothing. I, uh, I think my heart just stopped for a moment. What? Are you okay? Are you sick? Beef. Here, let me check your temperature. Do you possibly have a fever? Huh. Beatrix's soft hand is touching my face. I can die happy now. Have you made any choices yet? I don't think there are any choices in this game. This is like a half hour game and it's the first game they ever made. Uh, which you can, you can kind of tell from a few of the other stuff. Like the typos and the text not lining up. Uh, and the royalty free music. Uh, I don't, I don't think they ever stopped with the royalty free music. But like it become, it became less obvious. 
Uh, I don't think there are any choices in this game. Like, if you go to preferences, it does say after choices, which implies otherwise, but I don't think that's a real thing. Just there for flavor. Probably in the default visual. Here, we'll make a save. Make a quick save, just in case there's choices. Excuse me. Don't die! Please, Lil, you must live! If you die, then I won't have friends anymore! And also you'll be dead, I guess! Because I was so worried about Lily, I didn't realize how close we were. Ellipses. Ellipses. I don't know for how long, but we stared into each other's eyes. Is this what romance is? Play DDLC! No, we're playing this game! Smooth Square Turkey, you can't just demand a game change. We are in the middle of... Look, we're playing through Sudoi Studios' backlog, so we'll know how much they grew when we get to I Just Want to Be Single. Which uh, is amazing. I played the demo. It's amazing. Oh, Mom is here. Uh, hi, Mom. Down, downloadable content? I'm not playing that either. I don't care if it's not the acronym I was expecting. I'm not playing it. There's no DLC for this game. Or down DLC for this game. And we're at the romance scene. This is what romance looks like, presumably. I don't know. I've never done a romance. I don't know for how long. But we stared into each other's eyes. I never realized how round. I don't know if the round is. And bright Lily's eyes were. Or how silky her hair was, kind of like that handkerchief. Not to mention how soft looking her skin is. Suddenly, I. <laughs> Suddenly, I felt a sudden warmth and fluttery feeling in my stomach. Whenever I was with Lily, I was always. happy. As her mere presence made her feel comfortable and pleasant. Yet the feelings I am feeling now as I stare into her eyes is new and something I never felt before. What is this feeling? What is this feeling? So sudden. I... What is going on here? Broken from my trance, I look over to see the source of the voice and see my fiance, the prince, Edvard. Your Highness. Oh, yeah, whoopsies. Oh, no! Edward might think I was having an affair or something. He might get upset at Lily and punish her. I have to clear the air so he doesn't get upset. And more importantly, protect Lily. I asked what was going on here. Your Highness, it is now what you think. It's my fault. Lily. Oh, whoops. Clicked out. Lily, your fault. Of course. I should have expected nothing less. What? I could see what you were doing. I am not blind. Your Highness, I'm so sorry. But please do not punish Lily. Punish her? Why should I, when I punish our student you were tormenting? Huh? No, we were... You were bullying the poor transfer student, weren't you? Like, no! I wasn't doing that! We were... Lady Claremont, I have tolerated your unruly behavior for a while now. But I will not stand for you to harm the new transfer student, who obviously cannot defend themselves. I mean, they got run over by a truck. That's not someone who is action-ready happen. That was the sentence. Just trust me. This is unbecoming, even for you. Ellipses. It wasn't if, as if I wasn't used to people thinking me in such a way. I didn't expect any less from my fiancé, who never once tried to get to know me. Our engagement was decided upon by our parents, so there was no love between us. <laughs> so I am not surprised this perception would align about me align with the rest of the student body, even though I've been trying so hard to change it. His perception about me align with the rest of the student body. 
At one point, I did hope that maybe at least the man I would spend the rest of my life with was someone who could truly understand me, see me. But all hopes were dashed when I realized that Edward's only interest was in the prosperity of the kingdom, and he couldn't care any less about me. Maybe that's why I acted up before, upset that there was no one in the world I could rely on, I could be myself with, who would see the real me. But this time it was different. This time I had someone who was on my side. I had Lily. Yet, that's not true. I just thought things were different, but nothing has changed. All I've ever seen as is a cruel, horrible villainess. You're wrong! Hmm? Oh yeah, you're you're still here. Don't get the XE has stopped working. I see. She wasn't bullying me. Oh no, Beatrix is unloaded. She doesn't exist anymore. She was helping me earlier with my studies, actually. No, Lily, well, you don't understand. Yes, uh, standing up for Beatrix is great, but I think Edward was about to unfiance uh, Cl Claremont, so to st strategically, you shouldn't have interrupted that. Miss Lowy, you don't have to make up lies for her. I'm not! And I appreciate it if you stop talking shit about her. Shit. Shit. Oh, so who are you to talk about unbecoming? Your route is usually just of you looking down on others just because you're a prince. Not to mention you're pushy, bossy, never listen to others, and just plain rude. Since for some reason, guys with sadistic, dominant personalities are supposed to be appealing. But I don't see the charm. In addition, in your bad ending, you lock up the human in a cage like some creep after she's almost forced to leave the academy. Really? What sane person would do that? What? I would never. Beatrix, on the other hand, is the most warm-hearted person. I know. She always tries to help. I, I like... Like returning people's things, or cleaning up the classroom for the teachers. She never ignores me, unlike the other students, and always responds to me. She's patient when she teaches me, even though I mess up and get confused. She gives me her dessert from lunch, even though I secretly know she loves sweets a lot. But maybe you should stop asking for it, then. <laughs> like, stop asking for the dessert. Give her, give her your dessert. Additionally, because I don't have much money, she bought me three sets of my uniform. And also my textbooks, which you said were hand me downs, but were obviously new. Oh, this is like, uh, cut off. Turkey doesn't need logic to function. How did you know that? She loaded in just for the shock. Beatrix is the most gentle and selfless person I know. So I don't want to hear someone like you talk shit about her. Especially someone who didn't even place in the top three for the character popularity poll. Character popularity poll? Come on, Beatrix. Let's go. Okay. Ellipses. Ellipses. Not even top two? Wait, uh... Not even top three? Ellipses. Ooh, new, new background. I don't think I've ever seen Edvard look so stricken. With an aardvark. We're calling Edvard aardvark now. This is a vital... This is, this is, a, this is important for fair use. <laughs> because there's been no choices. I don't think I've ever seen aardvark look so stricken. Ellipses. That's also what the ellipses are for, so that people know. So we get cut together, like. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the first game that we're playing with widescreen, because all the rest have been like by four, four by threes. Uh, I, for, I was gonna announce that, but I forgot. Ellipses, ellipses, Lily, Beatrix, please break your engagement with the prince. What? I admit, the prince may be handsome and stuff, but he's still a yandere. I don't like how we talked bad about you. 
Mom's going to sleep. Good night, Mom. No, Spark, you've never had logic before. So why would you need it now? I want you to be happy with someone who treats you the way you deserve to be treated. Lily. Beatrix. I. I love you. Ellipsy. I love the way you're sometimes... You, I love the way you sometimes seem hard... Oh, wait, no, that's actually... That's correct grammar. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I love the way you sometimes seem harsh, but are actually very sensitive to what others say and act. I love how you try to seem you don't care, but actually care a lot. I love how secretly kind you are and how you're so smart and hardworking. I love your deep blue eyes and your long hair that reminds me of the sun. Even your graceful figure also leaves me speechless. I won't ask you to return my feelings, but I just wanted to let you know them. Look, well, okay, no. First off, you don't... You should probably find joy. But, you know, maybe maybe it's better if we, if we get rid of the Undertale files. <laughs> To be honest, I'll be happy being friends with you for the rest of my life if... if that's what you want. No, I don't want that. If you'd also like some space, then I would understand. I don't want that either. Ellipses. Then what do you want? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm sure you're saying no to getting rid of the Undertales. It was obvious what I wanted. Since I met Lily, I never spent any moment alone. I no longer dreaded going to every class where I would have no one to talk to. I no longer ate my lunch quietly in a large courtyard by my lonesome self. I no longer studied silently to fill the free time I had from not having anyone to spend with. And that's because of Lily. Because of Lily, I changed. I stopped being that hurtful and mean person I used to be before. Because of Lily... I no longer waited quietly for class to begin because she would spend time with me before the teacher came. Because of Lily, I'm really hungry. Uh, that's not because of Lily, I'm just hungry. Uh, it's just, I'm, I'm hungry now. Without Undertale, I just dropped dead on the floor. Undertale is not a vital resource. You can I've survived without it until 2016 happened. Because of Lily, my lunchtime was no longer filled, no longer quiet, but filled with laughter and chatter. Because of Lily, my once dull and monotonous life was bright and wonderful. All of those times I spent with Lily were the happiest moments of my life. I never want a life without Lily by my side. So the obvious answer was, I want to be with you. Lily, I am in love with you. I'm a quick second. You are? It. It took me a while to realize it. But the fact that I always want to be by your side. How being with you makes me feel both comfortable, yet nervous. I take notes. This is what love is like. Uh, and, uh, how everything you do always brings a smile to my face. I was referencing Undertale. Not even so sure that Toby tried to hold Undertale to delete itself, but didn't know what uppercase or lowercase would work, so I tried every combination. Huh. I don't remember the portion where Undertale deletes itself. In summer, Lily Abbott, I am in love with you. Ellipses. Woohoo! Yeah! We did it! And I didn't even have to make any choices. I did it. That was me. I won the game. I am such a good video. I am so good at video games. I am the best. You don't need to be so loud. I can't help it. I'm so happy. Does that make us lovers then? Well, I suppose. But I still have to break my engagement off. That's fine. Oh, wait. I'll wait forever for you. Same. Beatrix, I promise you, 
then I'll do my then I'll do my absolute best to make you happy. You don't really have to. That's okay, that's not a prerequisite. Nuh uh. Just you watch Beatrice Quimmon, I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. Oh, this ended for genocide. Then I guess I can't stop you. Nope. You can't. Like, you can't stop me from doing this. Eep. Louis' <laughs> face looks really derpy in <laughs> this shot. <laughs> like, the, the angle <laughs> looks really weird. <laughs> I always wanted to carry you like this. I put me down this instant. How are you even doing this? I'm taller than you and heavier. I just cast that strength spell you taught me earlier. That's some foreshadowing. Ah, I forgot I taught that you to you earlier. Besides, you're telling me you don't enjoy this a little, Beatrix? I mean, you read you read those cheesy romance no you you read those cheesy romance novels all the time, and I know they do this in them. You knew about it. Oh, also, uh, like cheesy romance novels also exist in the in the like Middle Ages. Now that I recall, you knew a lot of embarrassing things about me earlier as well, so maybe I shouldn't be surprised. It's nice to have someone who knows you so well, huh? Let's never talk about how I knew that. Ellipses. Well, I suppose it's better than being misunderstood. Glad to hear, because I won't stop trying to learn more about you. Because every new thing I learn about you makes me fall for you more. How's it called a pressure? What if you learn a detail that you just don't like? Is that, is that, a, is that also a love prerequisite? We're gonna have to write this down too. Sheesh, only someone like you could be so shameless to say something like that. Though I suppose that's what made me fall for you. I didn't quite hear that. Could you say it again for me, please? You. Fine, I'll say it once more. Just to make sure to listen this time. If this was a novel. Such a happy ending would never be possible for someone like me. I mean, it is a novel. A visual novel. But I guess that's why I suppose I should be glad this isn't a novel, visual or otherwise. This is all real life. See? Clear, it's real life. I'm not addressing that one. Just as the pure joy I am feeling. I love you, Willie. I love you too, Beatrix. Thank you. Thank you to whoever allowed Willie to enter my life. I know that from now on, the both of us will make each other very happy. So thank you for listening to my prayers and bringing me Lil and Brin and brining me <laughs> and brining me Lily. I'll make sure to spend the rest of my life bringing her as much joy as she brought me. I promise. Wow, I suppose this would be the confession scene, hmm? Not addressing what? Uh, the new, the new message in chat. Around this point, the game would end. But I'm grateful it doesn't end here. There's more video game. You haven't won yet. Moreover, since I'm actually in the game, I don't have to worry about any PG-13 plus rating any longer. Hee hee hee. What are you talking about, dear? Oh, nothing, my love. I forgot to mention. Lily sometimes mentions weird things in places I never heard of, such as Japan or a Tome game, which is probably also a reference to something, among other things. Who's the main character? I think Lily's the main character. Right? That's how these. Because th cause this is a dating sim. And Lily's like the character, the isekai person that got into the dating sim. And we're just observing Lily romancing the side character in the dating sim. I think that's what's happening. So I guess... So, I mean, it's, it's called I Want to Pursue the Mean Side Character, but it's not really me 
It's Lily. I'm not sure where she learned such words or what those things are, but maybe I'll ask her in the future and find out. The end. I did it. I am the best at video games. These are my quick saves. What, what's this? Oh wait, this is when I chose English. <laughs> Good save. Uh, uh, main menu. <laughs> yeah. It's all from the perspective of Beatrix, but Lily is the main character of the de game. Thank you, Galaxy Wolf. This is just a mango, but you press buttons for the. <laughs> it's just a mango, but you press buttons for the next page. Spider underscore turkey. Mango is a fruit, and manga, uh, and manga, as as I think you meant, is a comics. Uh, is comics actually? Uh, how, how? So like, this is not a comic at all. That's not how comics work. There's like five images in this in, in this game. I mean, this is this is also this is why uh, I was kind of okay with uh, the final cutting into my stream time because we're done. That's it. I don't think there's anything else in this game. That's nice. It's a pleasant experience. We had some fun with it. I will say I probably wouldn't be very interested if it weren't for the fact that, like, I know what happens, like, what they go on to do later. I intended that, Miss Billing. Oh, it's an inverted fate reference, which is also an Undertale, are you? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I guess I can review the game. Uh, it was good, I mean... This is this very much feels like a first game, like, because there's all these little things. Uh, that was a nice, it was a, it was a nice enough story, but like, a comic about a mango. There's no mangoes in this story. You're wrong. I w if it weren't for the fact that I knew that they'd go that the studio was gonna go on to develop. Uh, I just want to be single, uh, who I played the devil demo of, and I absolutely love. Uh, I probably would never have played this game. I also like, like this game will be interesting as a benchmark when we play the other game uh, that they released, uh, which does have actual choices in it, as well as the other game, as well as eventually I just want to be single. But. But like, Fire is Turkey is rambling about mangoes and mangoes. Uh, but like, I don't know what to say on it. You know, it's like it wasn't half an hour, but I, I took long. Uh, so when it tells you a time, uh, we're gonna take longer than that time. I'm very thorough. I, I, I clicked all the dialogue. I saw all the dialogue. I, I was so dedicated to this game, I saw all the dialogue. I uh, know, it's... That's very much a first game, right? The what it was, it was, it, was a, it was a fine enough first game. I didn't get a lot of the jokes because I'm not... Can you see, like... When we get to I Just Want to Be Single, which is a very similar naming scheme, uh, but uh, some uh, different premise. premise. Uh, so it's like night and day. Like I Just Want to Be Single, uh, which we'll get to, which we'll get to eventually. It has very polished. It's got this uh, nice 
It's very polished. It's very funny to me. Uh, so it, the humor is more in line. Uh, and yeah, but it's interesting. It's interesting seeing where it began. And you know, I like doing full franchise playthroughs, if you don't know. I say that, I haven't done any yet, because they're hard, but I actually do quite like looking at how stuff like this develops. And it's very interesting. We'll, be, we'll see how much... I am wondering how much uh, things will have developed by the time we get to My Sweet Zombie, which is next week, after my other final. <laughs> but overall, I mean... What did you all think? I gotta wait for like that to catch up to like, and then for them to type after it catches up. Like, this is a nice... I guess it's not fair to compare that I just want to be... This game to I just want to be single. Like, we can compare I just want to be single to this game favorably. But, like, it's not fair to, fair to be like, Alright, after years of honing their craft, that product's a better one. <laughs> so, like, you know... Spartan's Grilled Turkey is being not helpful. So thanks, Spartan's Turkey. I know so much about what you think of the game now. Maybe I should make a poll! No. I'm vetoing. We're not doing polls. Polls don't exist. What even is a poll? <laughs> Great. <laughs> cool trick. It's for turkey. Cool trick. Head up to fall Mario. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing else. Uh, I ran out of things. First wide screen game, though. Gotta say, this has that over all other ga other games we've played on stream. It's in widescreen. You gotta give it props for that. Turkey's just doing things with Mario. I think that's our, my cue to end the stream. So, uh, <laughs> thanks you everyone for watching. Uh, I didn't say my intro, which is supposed to be... Uh, uh, welcome aboard the flight ship. But thanks for flying with the flight ship. Uh, you can look at the description to see all the cool stuff. Such as my archive channel, my Discord, and my Twitter. These are in the bio of the YouTube account and are also in like the description of every video on this channel. Even ones that aren't streams. Uh, so, you know... You can always go, like, so, like, even though this video will become unlisted, uh, you can always go look at it. Uh, Spider Scriptor says it seems cool, and then went back to the Mario. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, if it's not, I guess you just won't know about it. Sorry. Well, thanks for... Yeah, th thank you for flying with the flight ship. <laughs> <laughs>